Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Second of July. Less than uh, two days uh, to the big day of Fourth of July. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right. Good morning to you too, Mark, Chuck, Lawrence, Lewis, Dave, Ken. All right, everyone. All the Cyber Traders. So it looks like a typical um, what I kind of predicted what was going to happen as of last week. And I'm going to say it again tomorrow. And by the way, just give everyone a heads up. Tomorrow is a half day in the market. Market close at 1 o'clock. And, um, and then what we have, and then we have uh, Friday is actually a full day. Just give everyone a little heads up regarding about the market. But, um, but before we start going through the watch list and see what happened yesterday, just remember today is uh, we moved our live trading class with me um, where, we do, where we do our open house every week. Uh, that is today at 12 o'clock. And then we're going to move Traders Talk from, t uh, from Tuesday, which is today, to tomorrow. So we'll see you all that. And you know that is a very uh, great event with, uh, with Josh where we uh, kind of open for live questions and answers. And uh, that's a very important thing. I mean, you know that you guys learn a lot just by coming to that event. But regarding, uh, regarding about everyone from Canada, Lita said, fireworks here last night, Canada Day. Well, we always love our Canadians. We love you. Thank you very much. All my uh, Canadian friends out there, hopefully you enjoy Canada Day. And, uh, you know, love fireworks too myself. I'll try not to blow up any fingers, but actually New York, it's illegal now. I miss those days. But uh, <laughs> I'll go somewhere and I'll go watch it. Yep, don't miss uh, Traders Talk. Definitely an event. That's good. We're going to move that to Wednesday. All right. In the meantime, guys, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Uh, there were a couple of stocks that did move, move pretty nicely. First of all, Run was pretty awesome. Uh, Run had that really big spike right out of the gate. We went from eighteen eighty all the way to twenty dollars. Had a couple of little nasty shakes right there, but that was probably one of the best stocks. Uh, had a huge, huge one hundred and forty thousand iceberg order uh, on that stock right there. A uh, huge order, and we used the level four to see that. And a lot of you guys were watching it when it had that all-time high and it held there. So uh, I just wanted to kind of bring that up, even though it, you know, it, it did really well. The iceberg order was really, really big. Micron, typed in the wrong window. Micron also, oops, fix my time frame here. Also did pretty well too out of the gate. You could see that had a nice push uh, going into it. The open, but then all of a sudden, boom, everything tanked. And, uh, and same thing with COTY, another one, tanked. That one, I mean, I don't know if it was on your short list, but that one was pretty awesome. Just came down like a ton of bricks. Great pick uh, yesterday. And then uh, the, the BRFS was pretty steady. Nice little level one stock. Had a pretty decent afternoon trade. Now, with all these news that came out yesterday, listen, we all know about why the market kind of moved a lot. It was actually up pretty big and then backed off uh, regarding about the uh, the talks in China with President Trump and stuff like that. But um, but even that, I'm telling you, that just just gets to show you that there really is not a lot of people out there trading today. A lot of people are on vacation and, you know, they're getting ready you know, between the Canada Day here in North America and then having Fourth of July falling on a Thursday. I told you. This week was not going to be like last week. And guess what? That is okay because you want to know when to trade, when not to trade. And there's sometimes there's opportunities. You'll get something a little bit easier to trade. So there are some stocks. Just got to be very, very selective. Now, how are we going to trade tomorrow? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you tomorrow. So we'll have breaking news on that. And I'll tell you a little bit how to do that. So you make sure you guys come to work because guess what? I'm going to be here. So I expect you guys to be here. You have to be here, you know. Listen, there's good times, there's bad times, and you, you, know, you just got to see how to trade those markets uh, because there's always great opportunities out there. Not that you're going to have you know, great trading, you know, a whole great list like we have, but listen, we only need one to make a day's pay. Now, regarding about what's moving this morning, what we saw uh, that was moving AMRN, let's start off with that one right there. AMRN gapped up pretty nicely. A lot of you remember the stock. We traded it last year. Went from $2 all the way to about 22 you had a nice little pop right there. Uh, she's breaking lower lows, and the she doesn't have the greatest iceberg orders out there. Uh, I don't see too much on level three or level four, but we know the stock does move. It did trade a million shares in pre-market already. That is a lot, okay? EROS is the one that some of you guys have been trading so far this morning. 
EROS, you could see that stock right there got destroyed. And I don't know why I'm looking at a thing like that. All right, so EROS, you could see that stock right there was $8 down to a buck 50. She just gapped up a little bit. So that was another nice little big winner right there in pre market. Big, big orders. Look at all those orders 1.2 million shares. Now, I mean, it's funny when you look at level three versus uh, on the AMRN versus this one, the EROS. You have a, have a lot, you have a lot, thousand shares, 10,000 shares. This is what we need. And that's going to give a sense of a game plan. The RBZ is the other one we were trading in this morning. That one did pretty well. Yell it right here. So that one uh, came out of nowhere. That thing just popped right around 830, ran from 420 to 450. Another stock that got decimated. $80 stock, beginning of the year, went all the way down to about three bucks. Um, we remember some, listen, this stock, if you remember, go back to your journals. This stock's got a great, great short squeeze. Um, we saw the stock go from 10 to 40, you know, less about, you know, back in April of last, uh, and then it did it again. It, it ran from like three to 2050. So we know the stock moves, but the most important thing, the most important thing is what we teach you in class, how to keep a good journal go back and now's the time to go teach yourself a lesson and say okay if you were a student back here in april how did i do with the rbz what happened what can i remind myself not to do so i so i could fix that problem and capitalize it because if, if this if this stock goes from three to thirty i don't want to lose that opportunity again okay so make sure you did your journals properly the way you were taught in class, and go check it out. Because I tell you this all the time. We always say this in class. You are going to trade this stock again, okay? Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, probably next year. But they always somehow come out with some news and make big moves. So go back and review that. And that's about it, guys. There's not a lot going on regarding about the markets. That's what I found in pre-market so far. But we all know that when the market opens up, there's always been some new ones that's come out of the gate, out of the blues. You see these things come out of some foxholes or something like that. And like, where the hell did that come from? But um, but the tip of the day, I want to let everybody know, remember, sometimes you feel like you're chasing a stock, right? Just go out there, buy one share. Buy one share, just get into the position. Remember, if you don't trade and you get those butterflies out, you'll never be aggressive. Listen, it's okay to chase a stock. Just do it one share. Don't do it a thousand, all right? And then as you get used to it, you got to get you got to get your mind in that trading mode. If you're not in that trading mode, you're never going to do any trades because you got to trade to make money. Right. And remember, you got to lose to learn. Losing is a good thing. You know why you lost. You won't do that again. All right. Anything I'm missing, guys? I did not call out fellow traders, cyber traders. Uh, Wayne says uh, the uh, Globes, the uh, GLBS is worth watching at 250. Yeah, you can see it right there. It's got, it's got some decent volume. Another stock that you guys should remember was another short squeeze that we traded back in March. This one went from three to nine. Another one of our two, three hundred percent winners. You know, so that one's doing pretty well. Action Ken says actions equals success. That's right. And if you don't if you don't have the action, you know, I don't know how many times you have to say it. You guys got to hit the button. Don't be a deer in the headlights. Okay, you know. Some people don't like hearing this, but it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's kind of true when you do your journals, but they do say it takes a thousand trades before you start, before you start knowing how to trade. Sounds like a lot, right? So if you do it one share, it doesn't cost you that money in ticket charges. Do it on a thousand shares. If you could survive it, it could cost you a fortune. You got to go out there and you got to trade to learn. Tiger's worth watching over six, Grant says. Yeah, I can see that. Nice call right there, Grant. Definitely looks like uh, something pretty interesting. And you know what's got great iceberg orders out there? You can see there's a big 10,000 share buyer sitting there at 580. I'll probably wait off, wait off until then. All right, guys, listen, don't forget. So what we got going on today, if you logged in late, uh, today we have open house, live trading with Fausto. We're going to talk about high frequency trading. So go out there, tell your friends about it, share it, tweet it. You know, um, you know it's always slow at 12 o'clock where times we take off. So come and join us. And, uh, you know, so that has some fun. And then uh, we move Traders Talk to tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Usually, you know, it's on Tuesday due to, you know, um, 
we had to move a couple of classes around because obviously Thursday markets closed. And that, so, but remember, tomorrow mark close at one o'clock, but it is open all day on Friday. Guys, good luck today. See you back at 12. See you for the afternoon meeting. And uh, if I don't see it, enjoy the 4th of July weekend. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.